If you have a Ford Bronco and you have beefy tires like the 37 inch tires on this Ford Bronco and you want to mount the fifth one on the back, the only one that I could recommend is the HD Pivot from Smittybilt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and why it's better than the competition. The Smittybilt tire carrier is made of monoblock aluminum material. This increases the carrying capacity of up to 135 pounds. The best part is if you have a 35 inch, a 37 inch, or even a 40 inch tire, this can carry without fear of that tailgate sagging. The mounting brackets maintain the easy single action of opening and closing the tailgate. The carrier offers additional strength while allowing for the third brake light and backup camera to continue their functionality. No drilling required, and you can maintain your OE bumper if preferred. At Four Wheel Parts, we only recommend the best for your vehicle. This is my personal Bronco. I originally used the rough country plate to hold my original tire. It still flexed, it still creaked when you drove around. The structural integrity of the tailgate was completely compromised. I'm definitely glad we got this thing installed. I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's super easy. You can either get this product now online or in stores at Four Wheel Parts. We could even install it for you if you don't want to do this. So let's get this installed. First thing you have to do is remove your spare tire. You've got three bolts holding it on. Remove those three bolts and then remove your spare tire by giving it a tug and setting it aside. Next, open up the tailgate and remove this black plastic cover on the back side of it using a flathead screwdriver or a plastic pry tool. Start on one side, work your way around, and it'll pop off real easy. Once removed, you'll notice two wires on the back side. Disconnect both of them. Starting at the bottom, squeeze the tab, pull it away. Push these small tabs around this plastic piece and push it through the tailgate, removing it from the back side. Next, remove the eight bolts on the back side. They're a 13 millimeter socket. Your removal of this plastic piece will look a little different as this does have the spacer and that rough country plate like I talked about before. Set this off to the side. Now, like I said, you will not have this rough country spacer. It's garbage anyways. The next thing we have to do is remove the tail light. In order to do that, open that tailgate back up. We have a couple different panels we need to remove to then safely remove your tail light. First, you'll notice four plastic push tabs. Let's remove those. Again, yours might look a little bit different as we have done this multiple times. Next, remove these two 10 millimeter bolts holding on this plastic panel. Now you can pull this plastic cover off and set it aside. You'll then see the two eight millimeter bolts behind that plastic cover. Go and remove those now. It might be a little bit difficult to get a socket in here, so using a wrench is just fine. Turn them both counterclockwise, starting at the top, work your way down. Now we need to remove this plastic panel that sits right below the taillight. But in order to do that, you have to pry away the fender flare. Work your way to the side of the Bronco, flip this small little lever on the side, and then just give that fender flare a little tug. You don't have to fully remove this, you're just pulling it away enough to get this plastic piece out. Next, you only have two 10 millimeter screws holding on the taillight. You got one here on the side, and one down here. Remove those and set them aside. Before completely removing your taillight, you do have to unplug it. Next, make your way to the bottom of the door. We're gonna remove this strut. It's super simple. Take a flathead screwdriver, reach up, pry this little tab down. Once the clip is removed, you can remove the strut and set it away. Now close the tailgate and grab some type of wedge, wrap it in a microfiber so you don't scratch the paint and just wedge it in here to support this tailgate from falling. Now you can remove these four bolts holding on these two hinges. Again, yours will look a little different. Yours will have a T40 Torx. These original screws that were absolutely terrible were provided by Rough Country. With those four bolts out, get a 13 millimeter socket and remove the six bolts that are holding on these hinges. Careful, they do have some weight to them. And the top one, you do have to angle a little bit so you don't scratch the paint. Now remove this rubber stop on the right side because we're not gonna need it in this case. Now we get to install the Smitty Built Carrier. Grab a friend because it is really heavy. You will have to finesse the top corner here so you don't scratch the paint. We do recommend if you haven't done this before to put some painter's tape here just in case. Don't forget to clean the back side of your Bronco up real good before you install this. Hand tighten all of the hardware that's included in the kit before really tightening these down. You don't want to strip out any bolts at all. So you want to make sure that this is in there good. Next, remove that final plate that was included in the kit and rest it on this plastic holder here. This is gonna get sandwiched in between the Bronco and the plastic holder. While I'm holding this, I might as well push the wiring back through really quick. Once that's done, take those eight bolts and tighten them back down. Once that's secured, you'll notice this spacer that's also included in the kit. 
we're going to remove this rubber stop and we're gonna sandwich this spacer between this rubber piece and the door. Don't forget to put that strut back on in the clip. Also, don't forget to plug in everything when you're all done and put that black plastic cover back on. So as you can see, it's super easy to get this mounted. It removes the entire hinges assembly, which means it's just gonna be stronger. This is so much better than my previous tire holder. Guys, we have so much at Four Wheel Parts. We have off-road lighting, lift kits, wheels, tires, you name it. We wanna be your off-road store. Go to fourwheelparts.com and check out everything we've got for your vehicle.